Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and in this class we will do a gentle morning yoga routine that's perfect for beginners or when you feel like moving a bit slower. So first, arriving on your mat, come to a comfortable seat, cross-legged or kneeling. And just notice how you're feeling right now on this day, in this moment. Taking this moment to center ourselves. Take a deep breath in and release. And now let's move with the arms and the breath. So inhale, reach the arms up, maybe look up. Exhale, prayer in front of the chest. Two more times like this. Inhale, palms circle up and they meet at prayer in front of the chest on your exhale. One more on your own, breathing in and exhale. Hands come to the thighs. We will begin with the next stretch. So get tall on your spine first and then let your right ear drop to your right shoulder. Shin stays a little bit elevated. So you feel the stretch right at the side of your left neck. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Let your head be heavy. But be gentle, we don't want to go too far with the neck, it's a very sensitive area. You can stay here or you can intensify it by reaching out your left fingertips out to the side. And you can play around a little bit here, moving your hand around, working the palm away from your and let it float back to you. Let it feel good and explore some intuitive movement. You can stay anywhere where the stretch feels intense or especially good, needed. This is not about right or wrong, it's just about finding the right stretch for yourself. Bring your two piece fingers to the right temple to press your head back up, tall spine, and then right away, left ear drops to the left shoulder, chin a little bit elevated again, but still parallel to the floor. Breathe here and enjoy the sensation. Again, you can stay here or you can start to play around with the placement of your right palm. Maybe walk it out to the side and then floating it back to your body. Maybe drawing little circles in one direction and then the other to explore some movement and just find a place that feels especially good to you on this day. And know that it's normal that every day is a little bit different. On some days you may feel it a little bit more on one side than the other. And then the next day it's completely the opposite. And maybe one day you don't feel like you have a stiff neck, but then you wake up the next day and you just know you need to stretch it out. That's totally normal and nothing to worry about. 
We always have the tools right at our fingertips. Remember to glide the shoulders down and back. Maybe experiment with the placement of your chin. You can rotate it more to your armpit, so you feel it more on the back of your neck. Or maybe you want to explore some movement in the front of your neck, so you rotate your chin up towards the ceiling. Always remember to move mindfully in the neck region. And then lift peace fingers to left temple to press your head back up. If you have been sitting up on a prop like a block or a bolster, you can remove that. We're coming into a seated side stretch. So first get tall and then left arm rises to the ceiling and then bend towards the right side. Your right palm is pressing firmly into the mat. And then you can play again with bending your right elbow or straightening it. Always remember to spiral your chest open to the ceiling so we're not slouching in the spine and the chest. So this is much like my personal practice. I like to experiment a lot. I think there really is no right or wrong way to move. We all have this innate wisdom for what's right for our bodies on any given day. To come out, left arm descends down and then right away switching sides, right palm up, get tall in your spine and then lean to the left. Left arm pressing into the ground, play around with spiraling your chest towards the sky, maybe look up slightly, bending the left elbow and straightening it, bending, exhaling, straightening, inhaling. And remember, these are all just suggestions. As long as you're moving mindfully, you're free to explore and move on your own. And then your arm comes back down and we will come now into cat and cow. I love that to do in the morning. It's just such a good way to get some movement into your spine. So come into tabletop position, hips over your knees and shoulders over your wrists. Pull your toes under, heart lifts. Exhale, round into yourself, chin drops. Three more times like this. Inhale, shine your heart forward, greet your day. And exhale, round, round, round. Press your mat away. Last one. One more for good measure. Exhaling deep cat back and then hips descend down to your heels for a child's pose. Knees can stay in together or go as wide as the mat however you feel most comfortable and your head can rest directly on the mat or on your hands or maybe even on the block. Try it out what feels best and then stick with it. Sending deep belly breaths into your low back. Think about filling that space with new, fresh air. And on your exhale, you let go what no longer serves you.
Maybe rock your hips a little bit side to side to get in some additional movement into your low back, opening up the fascia and the connective tissues. And then both palms flat to the mat to press yourself back up using arm strength only. Head last thing to come back up. Put your legs out in front of you. Both legs extend straight. And then bring your right knee in towards your chest. And cross it over your left thigh. Your left leg can stay straight. Hug and hold on to the right knee with your left arm. Reaching your right arm up to the sky. Inhale, get long. And then exhale using your core strength to come into the twist. As you breathe in, find length and get a little taller. As you breathe out, twist a little deeper. Root both sitting bones into the ground and think of moving the crown of your head away from that space. Come back to center, release, uncross the legs and straighten them out in front of you. Right away going to the other side, so bend your left knee and cross it over the right thigh. Keeping the right leg straight. Right arm wraps around your left leg. Deep inhale, left arm up to find length. And then exhale, twist and place your left palm behind you. Maybe your left hand comes up onto little spidey fingers. Whatever feels best, you could also place your palm flat behind you. Whatever gives you more leverage. Inhale, get taller, collarbones spread wide. Exhale, pull your abs in and twist a little bit deeper. Release the pose, release the crossing of the legs. Scoot yourself a bit up and then come to lie down on your back. Pull both knees in towards your chest. Think of hugging yourself here. Maybe rock gently side to side to massage your low back. Be grateful that you made this time for yourself on your mat. Coming into our final resting position, Shavasana, so extend one leg and then the other. Palms go out on both sides of your body. Or you could also place one hand on your belly and the other one on your chest. Just rest here and enjoy a short moment of complete silence. Slowly begin to deepen your breath, wiggle your fingers and toes, draw one leg into the chest and then the other, give yourself a squeeze. Roll over to your right side using your forearm as a pillow, left hand to the mat and then press yourself back up. Eyes closed, attention inward. Come into a comfortable seat, palms come together in front of the heart. And may you carry light and love out into the rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with a friend. Practice again with you soon.